paternity tests, prison time, racy photos, and divorces from hell. These are just some of the biggest scandals to ever hit Bravo. The Millionaire Matchmaker didn't get nearly the same attention as Bravo's revolving cast of Real Housewives, but it's not without its own scandals. In March 2018, the show came under fire after a California businessman who appeared on the series in 2011 was accused of sexual assault. Michael Leslie Burnback was arrested in 2015 in connection with the alleged rape of two women at his home. Every casting director is worst nightmare to have something like this happen. At least eight women had come forward with allegations against Burnback. LAPD Lieutenant Jim Gavin accused the businessman of running a house of horrors, where women were allegedly drugged and raped. In one instance, Burnback made a woman sign a waiver stating that their interaction was consensual, but she felt like it wasn't. Lieutenant Gavin told People, most of these girls were going there with the idea they were having sex with him. There is no argument there. The problem is he went over the line. Burnback was charged with eight felonies, but his case was dropped in May 2018. For a show that doesn't have much drama beyond undercooked chicken and scorched sauce, Top Chef had one doozy of a scandal in 2007 when a season two contestant was assaulted during an impromptu haircut after judging hours. Marcel Vigneron's hair grew rather shaggy during filming, and he asked production if he could chop his locks. Producers repeatedly denied his request because they didn't want any continuity errors. But they eventually told him he could get a trim as long as one of the other contestants did it. Vigneron declined. Seeing as how it is our last elimination challenge, I thought it would be a good idea to try to shave Marcel's head. What transpired started as a joke and quickly turned aggressive when a group of contestants who had been drinking that night pinned him down while he was asleep and tried to shave his head. Vigneron called out for help. Judge Tom Colicchio addressed the incident in a Bravo blog post, writing, In a flash, I understood how frat pranks can morph into ugly acts of hazing or how a rowdy bachelor party can become the scene of a crime. Colicchio wanted to send the entire group home and let Vigneron win by default. However, producers vetoed that option. Only one contestant was given the axe. He threatened Vigneron, which is against the Top Chef rules. Vanderpump Rules stars Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox ended their nine-year relationship in 2023 in the wake of what fans have dubbed the Scandival. On March 3rd, Maddox found out Sandoval was in the throes of a months-long affair with co-star Raquel Levis. You want anything? For you to die. VPR fans have seen their fair share of cheating scandals over the years, but this was the most stunning one yet. Not only did Sandoval and Maddox seem like an unbreakable pair, but it complicated the cast's relationship web even further. Levis was previously engaged to James Kennedy, who first joined the show as Kristen Doty's boyfriend. Before Sandoval was in a long-term relationship with Maddox, he was with Doty. Though he denied anything happened while he was still with Doty, he would later admit to cheating on Doty with Maddox. But Doty cheated on Sandoval with his former best friend Jax Taylor, and Taylor has a whole wild cheating history of his own. Needless to say, it's mess on top of mess. Since the news broke, VPR season 10 resumed filming, and Sandoval and Levis issued separate public apologies. Maddox waited a bit before she commented via Instagram, posting, I am so f***ing lucky to have the best support system in the world, and I hope I can repay every single person for the love you have shown me. What doesn't kill me better run. If we had a dime for every time a scandal broke in the Real Housewives universe, we would have one heavy piggy bank. Viewers were shocked when revealing photos of Real Housewives of Orange County alum Gretchen Rossi came out. And we're talking the racy kind. At the start of season five, several intimate photos were published of the television star without her permission. The compromising snapshots showed Rossi posing with a vibrator topless inside a vehicle, as well as sitting on a toilet seat with her pants slid down. Rossi's lawyer sent a cease and desist letter ordering the photos be removed from the site, but not before the ladies of Orange County spilled the tea. There's a picture of her with a vibrator laying on a bed with a cord. I'm like, holy mother of gynecology. Who has a vibrator with a cord? Rossi confessed that she took the photos when she was going through a difficult time after her fiancé's death. It was the bravo, bravo, bravo heard round the Real Housewives universe. Denise Richards reached her limit during season 10 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills over allegations of an affair between her and former cast member Brandi Glanville. Denise, Brandi Glanville, she said you two had sex, okay? As viewers would later learn, she shouted the network's name in the middle of the scene to signal to producers to cut the tape. Alas, they didn't stop rolling. 
The scandal began in 2020 when Glanville alleged that Richards had an open marriage that allowed her to be intimate with other women. She went on to admit that she visited the Richards star for two nights while Richards was filming in Northern California. We got really drunk and we were just so f***ed up and... It was just like, we kind of hooked up, we hooked up. Richards has repeatedly denied the affair, while Glanville is sticking with her story. Season 10 was Richards' final season, and on a 2023 episode of Watch What Happens Live, Glanville confirmed they were no longer speaking. In season 12 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Lisa Rinna and Kathy Hilton hit a major rough patch during a cast trip to Aspen. The drama began when Hilton got upset that sister Kyle Richards didn't encourage the other housewives to order Eva Longoria's Casa del Sol tequila. Hilton and her daughter Nikki Hilton Rothschild are investors in the brand. The drama escalated when Rinna chose to order Kendall Jenner's 818 tequila instead. What was I supposed to say to her? You're not allowed to order a different tequila? Things boiled over that night after the camera stopped rolling. In the second installment of the season 12 reunion, Rinna alleged Hilton threw a fit upon leaving a nightclub after a DJ refused to play her requested music. Kathy was screaming and yelling and venting and saying things that I have never heard in my life. Rinna went on to allege that Hilton directed a homophobic slur at the DJ, then threatened NBC, Bravo, and The Real Housewives franchise on the way home. Oh, and according to Rinna, Hilton claimed she was going to destroy Richard's whole family. Hilton denied using homophobic language, making threats, and saying hurtful things about her co-stars and family members. However, she did acknowledge that she was frustrated in the moment, saying, I recall venting, thinking that we've known each other a long time, this is not being filmed, and I felt like I could trust you. Rinna parted ways with the series after the season. After she left The Real Housewives of Atlanta, series superstar Nene Leakes made some serious allegations against Bravo. In April 2022, Leakes hit the network with a lawsuit. According to legal documents, Leakes sued because NBC, Bravo, and True foster a corporate and workplace culture in which racially insensitive and inappropriate behavior is tolerated if not encouraged. The suit dug into years of past drama between Leakes and her former co-star Kim Zolciak Bierman. Leakes claimed the tardy for the party artist used racist slurs toward her and regularly made offensive comments about her co-stars. Leakes' lawyer said in a statement, From the day the series began filming, Nene was the target of systemic racism from co-star Kim Zolciak Bierman, which was tolerated by Bravo executive producer Andy Cohen and other executives. When Zolciak Bierman was asked about the allegations on The Nightcap with Carlos King, she claimed they were untrue. Leakes ended up dismissing the lawsuit in August 2022, but is allowed to revisit the case in the future if she chooses. When season two of Below Deck Sailing Yacht was airing, cast member Danny Soares announced on Instagram that she was expecting. Fans quickly began speculating about the identity of the father, as the stew had gotten close with deckhand Jean-Luc Serzolano during their season together. The more I get to know you, I like you more. Let's have sex tonight. Anything you pray to, that's God's will. Soares revealed her baby's paternity during the season two reunion. Serzolano is the father, but their relationship is rocky, to say the least. In June 2021, Serzolano shared on Instagram that he wanted a paternity test done to confirm the child was his, posting, there will be one ASAP. No, Australia isn't open yet or I would have already gone, so those of you saying just go must not know that. We are truly on different continents, so easier said than done. The DNA test proved Sir Zelano is the father. He posted on his Instagram that, I'm happy and proud to say sweet and beautiful Lily Rose is my daughter. But he has yet to post any photos with his daughter, nor does any evidence exist that he visits her at Soros' home in Australia. He did, however, go Instagram official with a new girlfriend in 2023. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star Jen Shaw found herself in legal trouble in March 2021 when she and her assistant Stuart Smith were arrested while season two was filming. According to Manhattan U.S. attorney Audrey Strauss, Shaw was charged with running a fraudulent telemarketing scheme that involved recruiting victims and scamming them out of their money. What I have been accused of is absolutely the complete opposite of anything I would ever do in my life. In January 2023, Shaw pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud and was sentenced to 78 months in federal prison. The reality star traded designer clothes for a prison jumpsuit in February of 2023. She took to Instagram to release a statement the day her prison sentence began, writing, I am surrendering to serve a sentence in federal prison today. It is the price I must pay for the bad decisions I made. While incarcerated, I will work to make amends and reconcile with the victims of my crime. 
While it's nothing like an episode of The Real Housewives, Shaw is updating fans with Instagram posts managed by an administrator that detail her life behind bars. Season 12 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills saw its fair share of controversy, but nothing could compare to the online hate received by Garcelle Beauvais's son, Jax Nylon. As Beauvais' conflicts with her co-stars evolved throughout the season, trolls went lower than low and targeted one of her kids on social media. A number of the hateful messages the teenager received were threatening and racist in nature. Beauvais shared Nylon's statement regarding the attacks via Instagram stories, which read, It is currently my first week of high school, and instead of enjoying it like most kids at my school, I have to deal with being attacked on social media. Beauvais' co-stars spoke out and defended Nylon. Beauvais suspected co-star Diana Jenkins was behind the comments and even accused Jenkins of paying for the bots cyberbullying her child. Jenkins denied the allegation and launched her own investigation into who was responsible. In November 2022, Radar reported that Jenkins' team apparently found the source. Nylon, who was 14 during season 12, also had an unfortunate interaction with one of his mom's co-stars. At Beauvais' birthday party, an intoxicated Erica Jane propositioned Beauvais' eldest son, all Oliver Saunders and cursed at Nylon. Beauvais later confronted Jane, and Jane apologized. The Real Housewives franchise has seen plenty of nasty divorces, but no breakup was quite as bitter as the one between Bethany Frankel and her ex-husband Jason Hoppe. Viewers watched Bethany fall for the businessman during season three of Real Housewives of New York City. The two got engaged just 11 months after meeting, then tied the knot and welcomed their daughter Bryn in 2010. The marriage was short-lived, however, and the two split up in 2012. Frankel filed for divorce the following year. In the midst of their divorce battle, Hoppe was arrested after he went to his daughter's school and yelled at his wife, I will destroy you. He then fired off a series of email rants that led to him being charged with harassing and stalking his then estranged wife. Frankel and Hoppy were able to settle their financial dispute in 2016, but fought over custody of their daughter until 2021. Frankel opened up about the ordeal on her podcast, Just Be, saying, I have spent millions of dollars, millions of tears. I have had a horrific Hall of Fame nightmare divorce. Divorce has been my greatest struggle and ultimately my greatest matter to survive. And it was torture. Stassi Schroeder and Kristen Doty were once known as the Witches of WeHo, but their supposed magical powers were not enough to stop them from getting fired off Vanderpump Rules. In a 2020 Instagram Live interview with MTV star Candace Rice, former cast member Faith Stowers opened up about what it was like being the only black woman on the show. She said Doty and Schroeder once gave her name to authorities when they heard a story about a black woman who was wanted for a crime in the area, explaining, They thought it was me because it was a black woman with a weave. A week after the interview came out, Bravo fired Doty and Schroeder. The two former Sir Waitresses issued public apologies. While Schroeder lost some partnerships and had to put her podcast on hold, she didn't leave the public eye for good. She released her second book, Off With My Head, the definitive basic handbook to surviving rock bottom in 2022. Doty is back filming episodes for season 10 of Vanderpump Rules in the wake of The Scandal. Little was known about Brandy Glanville before the media got wind of the affair between her ex-husband, Eddie Cibrian, and country music star Leanne Rimes. The former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star met her ex-husband out on the nightclub scene in Los Angeles in the early 90s, and they married in 2001. The two went on to have two sons together. In 2009, Us Weekly revealed that the actor was having an affair with his Northern Lights co-star, Rimes. Glanville filed for divorce a few months later. In an interview on The Jeff Probst Show, she confessed to having considered Rimes a friend, saying, it would have been better had I not known her and they were just having an affair. We're sitting there and she's pretending they're pals and she's sleeping with my husband. But Rhymes wasn't the only woman Cibrian had been seeing behind Glanville's back. In a Bravo crossover moment for the ages, Glanville sat down with Sheena Shea on the 2013 premiere of Vanderpump Rules, only to have Shea apologize for having an affair with Cibrian. In a Real Housewives of Beverly Hills after show clip, Glanville said, The good thing about her is that I thought Leanne was just the one-time thing, but when I found out about her, she saved me because I left him. While the South may be known for its hospitality, the same can't be said for the stars of Bravo's Southern Charm. Former co-stars Ashley Jacobs and Katherine Dennis were at each other's throats during season five, after Dennis's ex-boyfriend Thomas Ravenel, with whom she shares two kids, started a relationship with Jacobs. In the final episode of season five, tensions reached a high when Jacobs told Dennis, Thomas, you're nothing but an egg donor. Jacobs doubled down on the Southern Charm after show, stating, It's just because you give if you push something under your vagina doesn't mean you're a mother. Jacobs eventually backtracked via Instagram, writing, 
I'd like to apologize for how I treated Catherine and how badly I disrespected her. I'm not sure what made me think it was okay to speak to a mother that way. It wasn't. Dennis was less than impressed after her friend and former castmate Danny Baird called her on FaceTime to share Jacob's statement. One of Bravo's most bewildering scandals to date had a fur baby at its center. A puppy called Lucy Lucy Apple Juice started a feud between Lisa Vanderpump and several other cast members. The drama began in 2019 when season 9 of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills premiered. At the top of the season, viewers learned Dorit Kemsley had adopted a puppy from Vanderpump Dogs, but after the pup bit her children and husband, she gave her away to a business associate. Much to the dismay of Vanderpump and her rescue organization, the dog was later dropped off at a shelter, unbeknownst to Kemsley. This sparked Puppygate. Word got out, and Kyle Richards accused LVP of lying about tipping off the tabloids. Before we knew it, Vanderpump was at odds with pretty much everyone in the cast. She stopped filming in the middle of the season, then left the series altogether. But don't worry, Lucy Lucy Applejuice found a new home. Though LVP denied leaking the scoop to the tabloids, sources say otherwise. In his book Not All Diamonds and Rosé, executive producer Chris Cullen claimed, when Lisa lost the narrative in the show and she realized that it wasn't going the way she wanted, that's when she leaked the story to the press. Yikes. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673.